Hey Sailor Scouts, I'm back again with another Yashihime review, episode 6. Though this one is a little bit long and from what I've been seeing on my YouTube, some of y'all only stay for like a minute, but like, I mean, you guys can watch 15 minutes of a video, right? So let's get into it and have fun with it. So let's get to the really good part. Moraha is literally about her money. So she and her two cousins go and see Juve and she was like, yo, you got something that we can go snag a few coins real quick? And Juve is like, for sure, you might want to go check out, you know, people disappearing up there in the mountain. And so the three was like, say less. And they are off on their merry little way. And it wouldn't be an Inyasha show without some shenanigans. More high, really enjoying, you know, the modern day technology. And, you know, she started goofing around with Toya, uh, Toya, Toa on the bike. And fork in the road would be this little girl. And they go flying. <laughs> and that was... Oh my god, that was so funny. I was literally cracking up. But anyway, the little girl tells Toa and Moraha and Setsuna her tale of woe about these pussy cats in her village and they're like taking over the adults. Like people in my village is starving. And when I mean by people, I mean the little kids. The adults is just eating all these cats up. I mean, there's pussy here, pussy there. I mean, damn well pussy everywhere. And the proof was in the pudding when the little girl tried to go to her mama. And her mama was like, girl gone. Like, goodbye. <laughs> and of course, Toa being her sweet, cute little self. She's like, oh, kitty, you're so cute. And Moraha and Toa. Setsuna is like, sus, these cats is hella sus. Do you not see what's really going on? And Toa like, uh, no, nah, they just cute little kitties. And they like, sus, no, <laughs> these cats is hella demons. <laughs> I mean, uh, where you from? The pussy might be nice, but where we're from? Um. They are literally the devil in disguise. So you need to like wake up a little bit. <laughs> Cause uh, you know, you're a half demon. So you're supposed to know these things. Which is kind of unfair to me that, you know, Moraha and um, Setsuna sort of get on Toa about, you know, just opening up her powers. But then again, I can see where they're coming from because they literally was probably on their own throughout most of their lives and they really had to learn really quickly about um you know like growing up period but anyway they come across on top of the mountain and they come across this monk who happens to look like a teen idol um that toa's little sister may like and it's sort of like back down memory lane a little bit not a lot a little bit when you know um like hojo came up in the in the show hojo's ancestor but like i said not a little bit because he was just here for this one episode but it was nice to have you know that uh memory lane and while Toa is geeking out about, oh my god, I just met the ancestor of this great idol, Setsuna, like, girl, is <laughs> this is not your world. Like, what is you talking about? And Moraha is like, girl, you so dumb. But yo, priest, have you seen some, you know, ghost cats around here? Because uh, they hella taking over this village down there. And, uh... We were just wondering if you seen them too. 
And the monk was like, um, yeah, a long time ago, this powerful monk had sealed away this ghost cat that lived here, you know, but I really haven't been sensing them, but I can show you where it's at, like, his bones is, like, literally, like, under the temple. But before that even comes about, the girls decided they'll devise a little plan to lure out uh, the ghost cat. And what it seems like the ghost cat is lured by demon energy. And since Toa couldn't control hers yet, I guess, you know, a moth to a flame, here come more ghost cats. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, Toa, Toa is a little worried about, you know, not being, well, it, this is what I think she's worried about. I think she's like really worried about not really contributing much because I think she's trying to live up to her sister's expectations, you know, being the tough one and all that other stuff. And... When Setsuna and Moraha investigate under the temple, they see the large cat bone. And all of a sudden, the cat, the giant pussy cat, <laughs> comes to like comes to life almost like a zombie. Um well not a zombie but in its original form. And Try as they might, Setsuna or Moha can't land nothing on this food. I mean, they cut here, they cut there, and they just cut everywhere. But they can't seem to get no hit on this guy. And Setsuna is like, oh shit, Toa, fuck, we need to go and get this girl. And... For good reason, because the monk is acting hella sus. Come to find out the monk is possessed by the dead demon cat. <laughs> His bones is fighting more high and said sooner, but it possessed the monk. And Toa realizes this, and but she can't get out because... The cat had put, uh, put a barrier around the temple by using demon magic. Which, I, which that's not new, but the way he used the talismans was sort of kind of new to me. I don't think in the old show uh, where demons, I mean, demons were able to seal up stuff, but I don't think they were, I don't think they used talismans so. though. I mean, I haven't seen the old show in a long time, so don't quote me on that. <laughs> so, Setsuna tries to get to Toa, and Setsuna like, damn, I can't get to my sister. Morha like, stand back, shorty, I got you. And she opens up the door with her bow and arrow. Good thing she's related to uh, Kagome. But, um, guess who's here? Guess who's here? Miyoga, once again, telling, um, Moraha about Inuyasha's, uh, Tensaiga. Um, how it would collect demon energy. And, or see their demon energy flow with, uh, Tensaiga. And was able to cut it through. And more highs like, man, what is you talking about, shorty? All I've been doing is trying to cut this fool up. And this fool hasn't even made a dent. I haven't made nothing. So what is you saying right now? Like, what is you literally saying? Like, we don't, I don't know none of that stuff. So this proves that Morahan doesn't know about Inyash. Because I'm thinking that maybe she would know about 
in Yasha, but it seems like she doesn't. So, proof right there. And, you know, Morha was like, yo, none of us can steal no demon power, so how do we, how do we do this right here? Because I'm getting tired of getting fucked up, man. And y'all two is just sitting there arguing. <laughs> like, come on now. And says Suno like, yo, huh, I got an idea. Why don't we just kill him? <laughs> like, I mean, that's what we came here to do. We came here to slay and, and get paid. That's it. Well, more high is here to get paid, but I'm here to just slay these because, you know, that's my job. <laughs> and Toa was like, uh, no, we're not going to do all that, sis. And said, Susan, like, yo, you need to stop with this sentimental shit. Like, we're not in your world. Maybe in your world, people just don't, you know, just go kill somebody, but it's like, yo, this is the feudal era. You need to get all that nonsense out of your head. And Setsuna been annoyed with her sister for a while now. Everything that Toa does, Setsuna is like, girl, ugh, you're just so annoying. <laughs> but Toa is like, I mean, bump your noise too. Like, I'm not finna sit here and just go charging in. Wow, this man is literally possessed. Like, it's not even his fault that this demon cat is all at him. So, what I'm finna do is, I'm finna go and save this man. And I don't care if you don't like it or not. And so, that's what Toa did. Toa went and saved the poor monk from the demon cat. And I sort, of, I sort of like how, you know, Toa chooses another way. Though sometimes, <laughs> if you just have to kill him, then kill him. Just kill him. <laughs> okay? Because some people may not be worth saving. Or, you know, you'll do them the honor of sparing your pain. <laughs> But, you know, Toa is like, nah, bump that noise. I got this. I'm finna use my demon sword and collect the demon energy and send that cat whatever you gotta go to. He just, you know, he's going to hell or heaven. I don't know. I'm just gonna save this man. And, you know, Toa is very glad about what she did. And also, Morha. Morha is like, okay, you wanna save people? Alright, then go do your thing, sis. But you gotta be stronger than that. You can't just be all this sentimental fool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel you, but then again, though, <laughs> it ain't no error. And like I said, Setsuna, you know, kinda gets annoyed with Toa whenever she finds a different solution to a problem that Setsuna would just go charge in, like, I don't care about nobody getting possessed. I'm just going to do my job. Point blank in the period. <laughs> and, you know, everything goes back to their norm. Where Toa is being her modern day self. And the other two don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> and, but it was, this episode two was kind of fast. But... I, you know, I like the dynamic between the three. So, it was a good episode nonetheless. And don't forget, Taylor Scouts, please leave your comments below. What you think about the episode? Was I right? Was it a little bit too fast? Or I'm just tripping and, you know, I shouldn't say that ever again about an Inuyasha show that we all been waiting for. <laughs> And always, Sailor P says, hit that like button and subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye!